Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Israel says a fierce fighting is taking place within Gaza as its ground offensive in the area continues. Hamas! Bodies are reportedly piling up in the streets with multiple funerals being held daily as airstrikes continue. Israel's military said it struck more than 600 militant targets in recent days. But innocent Palestinians are being caught up too. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says more than 8,500 people have been killed since Israel's retaliatory bombing began. Israel says they are targeting Hamas. Here, a video released by the Israeli Defense Forces showing the destruction of the house of one of the group's leaders. But as the humanitarian situation worsens, the UN is continuing to call for an opening of the Kerem Shalom crossing to deliver aid to Gaza. More than one entry point into Gaza is indispensable if we are to make a difference. Karim Shalom between Israel and Gaza is the only crossing equipped to rapidly process a sufficient, sufficiently large number of trucks. French counterterrorism police have shot an unarmed woman reportedly threatening passers-by in Paris. The incident took place at the Bibliothèque François Mitterrand train station. The woman, who was wearing a full veil, reportedly threatened to blow herself up and was heard shouting Allo Akbar. When she refused to comply with police orders, they opened fire eight times. She is said to be critical but stable after being shot in the abdomen. An off-duty pilot who's accused of attempting to turn off the engines of a jet mid-flight has pleaded not guilty in court. Line to Emerson versus Joseph. In his first court appearance, Joseph Emerson entered a not guilty plea to state charges through his defense attorney as he looked on from behind the court's glass partition. Federal prosecutors accuse him of trying to shut off the engines of an Alaska Airlines flight over the Pacific Northwest. He told an officer that he had taken psychedelic mushrooms for the first time and believed he was having a nervous breakdown. Two people have been killed and scores injured after clashes erupted in Bangladesh between anti-government protesters and police on the first day of a three-day protest to push for the resignation of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The main opposition, Bangladesh Nationalist Party, called for a three-day blockade of roads in response to clashes between party supporters and police, in which one policeman was killed and more than 100 people were injured. The party has been calling on Hasina to resign to allow elections scheduled for January to be held under a neutral caretaker government. The cast of Friends have said they are utterly devastated by the loss of their fellow star, Matthew Perry, who died on Saturday at the age of 54. In a joint statement, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Matt LeBlanc, David Schwimmer and Lisa Kudrow said it was an unfathomable loss. The Friends actor was reportedly found unresponsive in a hot tub at his Los Angeles home. Perry's post-mortem examination was inconclusive. Officials are awaiting the results of toxicology tests. And King Charles and Queen Camilla have arrived in Kenya on a four-day trip, the couple's first state visit to a Commonwealth nation. After a ceremonial welcome at State House, the royal couple, along with President William Ruto and his wife Rachel, went to the tomb of the unknown warrior in Uhuru Gardens, where Kenya declared independence in December 1963. More than 10,000 people were killed and others tortured during the brutal suppression of the Mau Mau uprising in the 1950s, one of the British Empire's bloodiest insurgencies. Buckingham Palace said the visit would acknowledge the more painful aspects of the UK and Kenya's shared history and that His Majesty will take time to deepen his understanding of the wrongs suffered in this period by the people of Kenya. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.